some painting done. I've been working on the house across the street, so I gotta get these little paintings done. Me and my wife have been working around the yard. She's been doing some cleanup over here. My wife found some turtles. We have a little turtle pond. So she found some turtles today. She was working over here in the stones. Huh, aren't those cool? So I was feeling a little left out. So I was working in the front yard. I found the turtle too. Not sure what kind of turtle this is. Tim is very fascinated by it though. Let me know, um, No, it's pretty cool. I know, we're gonna do a race later. Tortoise in the air. What? James Coleman Gallery? Oh, okay. Um, I painted on a piece of wood, which is kind of fun. Um... Had a great show over the weekend, Michael Summers. Look, he's got a little sketch pad over here, he's working. I'm filming. Don't worry about that. So we're flying out, the show was good, we had a good time. So next week, I'll be in Sarasota. Some crabs. <laughs> I got some some swag. I got some stuff from Pilot Pen Guy. Excited about playing with these. Gonna use these. So what you think? First uh, trip to St. Augustine? Man, I love this place. Uh, yeah, first trip out here. The uh, weather's been fantastic. The city is gorgeous. The people are so friendly. That was a good time. I had a fantastic time out here. We goofed off. It's been great. Got yeah. a little less sleep than I thought I was gonna. A little yeah. less than I planned. So <laughs> I blame you. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Barton is firmly a bad influence. I don't know if you're aware of this, but just just saying. <laughs> well, we'll go bug Bill now and get a ride back to our airport. Get ready to head home to San Diego. On our way. Bill is, is taking my luggage. Yes, sir. I work for Tim. <laughs> I work. <laughs> Oh, I owe you $40. That's the tip, Bill. Don't loan Steve money. I'm delayed. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make my next flight. So, I got about four minutes running. So I made the flight, and uh, the life of a traveling artist. He said we're gonna make it, literally. <laughs> I ran, I pushed. Shoved. We got off the other plane in time. So I made it. I had this idea and uh, I thought it was a good idea. I um, ordered this, ordered something and uh, totally kind of forgot about when I ordered it. So I have her now. Her name's Lilac. So now I have this. I have to figure out what to do with. I just got my box from Dennis, um, so I'm unwrapping it right now, and I'm really excited, a little nervous about painting on aluminum, but it's my first collaboration with Dennis, and so I, I don't want to screw it up, so I'm going to start unwrapping, and we'll see how this goes. Pretty excited, pretty excited about getting this started. A little nervous. Today is Alondra's birthday, so we're having a little birthday party for her at the Barton Studios. There's a birthday girl. Steve! <laughs> you, you have food in your mouth? Stop! To you! Don't spit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying not to! <laughs> How are you doing today? What's up, bud? How are we going? Good to see you, man. 
Where are we going today? We are going to Sarasota. It's like Cheers. Where everybody knows your name. When they start knowing your name when you when you show up before you hand them your ID, you know you fly too much. And they're always glad you came. Hey guy, thanks for picking me up at the airport. Only an hour late. <laughs> hey, you gotta build anticipation for crying out loud. I don't know why I send him the times I'm supposed to be at the airport because he's still late. But on the other hand, I just want to thank the Ocean Blue guys for buying me as much food as I possibly can shove in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's a lot. So we're here. I just did a little surfboard for them. They got theirs because. Um, there was a mistake. Okay, screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do him one now. Sarasota hanging out here with Deborah. But we've been looking for Guy all day. <laughs> I got here at like, you know, 11 o'clock. It's going on four. So we're gonna look around for Guy. <laughs> now I had a good show. Um, just finish up the surfboard here. You got this one I'm finishing. Could you tell me where Guy is? Uh, I don't know where Guy is. He's not in the gallery yet today. Have you seen Guy? Yeah. Not today. Okay. Uh, have you seen Guy Vincent today? No. I have just spotted Guy. He is now in the gallery. Let me just cover that up. Hang on. Let me just, oh. Hang on a second. He's got here just to buy me a uh, a very late breakfast. Thanks you, coming, sir. He's walking away. I lost him again. Thank you. It was a good show. Thanks for dropping me off. <laughs> Morning. You see now you look bright and cheery. <laughs> On my way. This is why I got the bunny right there. What is that reason? Do you want the bunny? Doing um, a collaboration between me and Dennis and they turned out really cool. I have a show, 8th and 9th in Maui and me and Dennis it's a, a collaboration show. So we decided to do some collaboration surfboards because our styles really mesh together. And these things have turned out a lot of, they were a lot of fun to paint. They were a little, little nerve wracking for me when I got started on them because I've never painted on metal before. I'm excited to see when he's done doing the clear over the top of them, how they end up. So the whole thing is extremely exciting. Now I'm gonna get back at it, get ready for the rest of the show, get my stuff done. I'm, we're driving out to Vegas, I'm a little behind on art, so I decided to set up a mobile art studio. Never done this before, so that's why we thought it would be fun to put it on film. And if it works out well, we'll buy a big motorhome and Deborah will drive me around the country. <laughs> Love box easel, perfect size, sits right there. It's a little harder than I was thinking. You're up. I'm a little nervous now. So that was a pretty fun one. Yeah. I actually hit something. I didn't hit anything on that one. The most famous artist at the tournament. According to my mama. <laughs> I 
won the highest score last year. Well, that's not really winning, but if you want to tell everybody you won, okay? <laughs> did I leave with a trophy and some cash? <laughs> you did, but it's not what I put in my trophy case. <laughs> it's totally It's out called of most <laughs> challenging score. There's somebody that's going to be trying to beat you out for it this year. Man. Is this you? Well, yeah, you that's me. Say yes. That's a palm tree you drawn on there. <laughs> <laughs> that's it for Steve Barton. Nice. <laughs> I did win. See the palm tree's help. Money, money. <laughs> See, I am a winner here, guys. I'm gonna... yeah. The starting rate of the race. No, it's actually not a race, but. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> It was a par four. I think I'm at like 35. I was almost, I was almost, I was almost killed. But I almost got this huge Are you gonna throw that Barton away that you won? No. Keep it. <laughs> you gotta keep it. Oh yeah, it's a good Barton. <laughs> talk to you about my golf game. You look confused. So, I usually win the highest score at the golf course. So, this time I won a hole in one at the golf game. How did you get a hole in one? They actually went up with a bucket of balls and dropped them from a helicopter. Oh, and it had your name on it? Get that. <laughs> So what did that? It, I wanna. There was a cup. I was talking about my hole in one. Oh my gosh! I went out of helicopter. Out of a helicopter. Yeah. Not even kidding. And his name is on the ball. Yes. Wow. Thousand dollars for whoever got the hole in one. Are you serious? Go buy a lottery ticket. So we're driving back from Vegas slash Tahoe. In Vegas we were at 100 degrees and now we're in Tahoe and it's snowing. All in like 48 hours. Day two, painting on the road. <laughs> 